This can be hard to understand. Time is pressing. Move her to the laboratory at once. The lips move, the sound comes later. They are out of sync. It must be, understand? Yes, never see her again. I give you my word, believe me. Vanderbilt researchers say that's what happens to children with autism. Sight and sound are separated. We're very excited about it. I think this is truly transformative in many ways. So what's going to happen is you're going to see a woman. In their study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, researchers compared typically developing children with high-functioning children with autism. The children, 6 to 18, worked through tasks from simple flashes and beeps to more complex stimuli like a hammer hitting a nail. Uh. Their job, to push buttons identifying if the sight and sound happened at the same time. There is a window of time within which if a sight and a sound happens, the brain is very smart and what it says is, ah, those two things happen so close together in time that they must belong together. So the brain knits that information together. What we believe is that in children with autism, that window of time is longer. So now what happens is their perceptual world is very confusing because they don't know which pieces of the visual world should be bound with which pieces of the auditory world. The processing difficulty cascades into more problems, but Wallace says the brain can be retrained. Bah. The brain is an enormously plastic machine. The hopeful message from this is that if we can intervene and change sensory function early, some of these um, more profound deficits that we see in areas like language and in areas like social interactions may actually be improved by that early intervention. The next step is to develop more effective treatments to help children with autism no, I know that I can't trust you. combine what they see with what they hear. In Nashville, Barb Kramer reporting.